What's up guys? Welcome to another FIFA Ultimate Team video and today EA have released a Luka Jovic SBC because he won the vote for the skill move boost which is interesting because he was up against Ryan Kent and another guy and I generally thought Ryan Kent was absolutely going to smash this vote. I, I don't know why, it's just a load of people loved Ryan Kent when he came out and I generally think a lot of people were going to get behind him just didn't happen in the end. Apparently Luka Jovic won this. So in return he's been given a 93 rated striker card. So what we're going to do today is check out his in-game stats. And then we're going to see how much it costs to complete this SBC. Before finally talking about the best chem stars to use with this particular player. So let's start off with his work rates. He's got medium attack, medium defense work rates. Not great for a striker. You really want the high attack with either a medium defense or low defensive work rate. It's just something you're going to have to deal with. Skill moves of 4 stars is good and his weak foot of 5 stars is excellent. In terms of his attributes, pace is a little disappointing with the acceleration of 88 and sprint speed of 89. You really want these two stats being hit into the high 90s. So it's not great. Shooting wise, attack positioning of 95 is very good along with the finishing of 97. Shot power of 94 is a very nice stat along with the volleys of 95. Long shots not as great with an 86 rating and his penalties of 74 is not the best either in terms of his passing stats. Vision of 85 is good, crossing of 81 is alright, free kick accuracy at 56 is pretty dead, short pass of 90 is good, long pass of 70 again not the greatest and his curve of 93 is pretty de decent as well. In terms of the dribbling stats, agility of 91 is very good, balance of 90 is good, reactions and ball control at 97 are very nice stats indeed, dribbling of 95 is very good and that composure of 92 is pretty good as well. Defensively not great but heading accuracy at 95 is a good stat if it was worthwhile because heading don't really work so well. Physically, aggression of 72 is all right. Strength of 90 is very good. Stamina of 88 is reasonable, and his jumping of 87 is good as well. In terms of those traits, outside the foot shot trait is a nice trait to have, but unfortunately, it is the only one that he has when it comes to what matters to us as a player. Generally speaking, card is decent. I don't like his work rates. Do put me off a little bit, but overall, it's a reasonable card. It all does come down to how much this particular SBC costs to complete. So with that in mind, the card itself is around for the rest of the game, which is fantastic. No need to rush in trying to obtain this card, which is nice to see. And you'll probably be able to get this card and build up your assets so it costs you next to nothing to complete. But in terms of the squads that you need to give over, there are two that you need to provide. The first one being a Real Madrid player in an 84 rated squad with 75 chemistry. In return, you get a Prime Electrum Players Pack, which is not bad. And the second is the La Liga player with a team of the season so far, a team of the week player in an 86 rated squad with 70 chemistry. You get a Premium Gold Players Pack in return. I'm not sure that is the best value, genuinely, just because of what we've had in the last couple of days with Ndombele uh, with two 84 squads and the Ivan Perisic SBC, which was uh, an 85 rated squad, and they in my mind are a lot better than this Jovic card. Currently according to Footbin you're looking around about 245k on PlayStation and 225k on Xbox. I'd like to think those price estimates will come down in due time but until then I definitely recommend that if you do want to complete this SBC use assets within your club to significantly reduce the amount that you pay out in order to complete this particular SBC. Now if you do decide to complete this particular SBC, what chem star do you, I reckon is going to work best with this particular card? The first one I reckon is a good shout is an engine. Reason for an engine is he gets nice dribbling boosts and good pace boosts which I think this card would benefit from. So what you'd see in a plus 10 chemistry position is his acceleration goes up to a 93 with the sprint speed going up to a 95. Gets decent passing boost as well with fission becoming a 90, short pass goes up to a 95, crossing becomes an 86, long passing becomes an 80 and his free kick actually goes up to a 66. In terms of his dribbling stats, the agility becomes a 96 and his balance, reactions, ball control and dribbling all max out to 99s, which I think is very, very nice indeed. In terms of another chem star to use, 
A sniper is not a bad choice either, just for those dribbling boosts. While it doesn't increase his pace, he also gets some nice little shooting boosts as well. So what you see in a plus 10 chemistry position is his positioning, finishing and volleys maxing out to 99s with the penalties becoming an 89. And from a dribbling aspect, agility, reactions, ball control and dribbling all max out to 99s with balance becoming a 95 and his composure becoming a 97. Final Ken style I've got to recommend is going to be a marksman. Reason for a marksman is while it doesn't improve pace, it gives him some really, really good boost to shooting, good boost in dribbling, and a nice little boost in the physicality section as well. So what you'll see is his positioning, finishing, shot power, and volleys all max out to 99s. Long shots becomes a 96, and his penalties become a 79. From a dribbling aspect, his agility goes up to a 96, with his reactions, ball control, and dribbling itself all going to 99s. And then finally, within his physicals, his aggression will become a 77, strength becomes a 95, and jumping becomes a 97 all in all my personal take from this is he's not a bad card but he's not someone that's making me jump out of my shoes and just get all excited about and makes me feel like it's a must-have card in the same ways that Ndombele and Ivan Perisic made me feel I wouldn't not recommend completing this SBC but if you do decide to complete the SBC do it for as cheap as possible and use assets within your club but until next time, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I've hoped you've enjoyed it. Please leave your comments below. Let me know what you think of this Jovic card. Let me know if you're just as surprised as me as the fact that Ryan Kent didn't win the vote. Be interested to hear your thoughts and opinions. But please, before you leave, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll check you guys out. Laters.